As we continue our series on post-traumatic stress, I sat down with a soldier to talk candidly about seeking treatment and making strides to overcome difficulties associated with having post-traumatic stress. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a manageable condition. It's not a make or break it situation and being proactive about your personal situation can make all the difference. When they diagnosed me with post-traumatic stress syndrome, I said, what is it? What causes it? And what are tools to deal with it? It can't be cured necessarily with a pill and it can't be set like a broken bone. The only solution is to get help from a place that deals with and knows each form. PTSD can be debilitating if left unchecked, but with help, it can be unnoticeable. It's not the end of your life. It doesn't mean uh, because you've been diagnosed with it or think you may have it, it doesn't mean that your, your life's over and now you're a hermit for the rest of your life. It means that you need to gain and acquire the tools to cope with it. The tools you use are based on you as a person and your personal experiences that have caused the PTSD to begin with. The key is finding those tools and finding what works for you, because what works for one guy or gal is not going to work for another guy or gal. Even with tools, it's not an easy road, but there are programs that can help you get back to a good place in your life and in your own mind. Over time, it gets better and you progress uh, to where you, know, you can have some semblance of normalcy. It doesn't mean you're normal, it doesn't mean you're cured just means you've learned to identify triggers and use the tools to cope with uh, things that cause you to have those episodes. A soldier with PTSD is not strange or insane. Combat is a common reason for PTSD, so it's only logical that a certain amount of soldiers would have it. PTSD is a normal response to what most soldiers have been through, protecting our country. Classifying them as crazy or we're saying uh, you know, something along those lines, we're not helping ourselves, we're weakening the force. And guys and, and gals need to know that it's, it's okay to go get help and you know, by getting help you're showing a strength, you're not showing a weakness. By getting help you're able to become a better leader and a better soldier as well as a better family member, whether it's in your personal family or in the military family. PTSD has come out of the shadows. It's no longer career ending or life ending. Soldiers can seek help without fear or any kind of repercussions. They need to seek help not only because it's their duty to the Army and their family, but because it's the right thing to do for themselves.